Thank you so much for joining us. I am Catherine Kasavuli. Well, Topi Liambila will not be joining us on the sports today. He is attending a function, the Olympian Association. So I will be taking care of the entire bulletin, including sports. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it. And just before we go to all our other stories, we are joining John Jacob Curia of KBC, one of KBC's senior reporters, and he is going to take us through what's happening there. He's been camping at the deputy uh, president's residence uh, in anticipation of the announcement of a running mate. John Jacob Curia, welcome. Thank you, Catherine. We're still live from the Deputy President's residence in Karen, and we can officially report a deadlock in terms of identifying a running mate for Deputy President William Ruto. A deadlock. Why? Um, because you will remember um, during our 7 p.m. bulletin, we reported the exit of uh, Rigadi Gashago, the Member of Parliament for Madeira, as well as the Senator for the Rakanidi Kidure Kindiki, who left two hours before 7 p.m. That was about 5 p.m. But now we can confidently report that they are back in this mansion um, to continue obviously with the negotiations about the possible running mate for the deputy president but we can also officially call it a deadlock um, because there is no argument whatsoever on who between Kithure Kindiki and Regadi Gashagwa will be the running mate for deputy president William Ruto and indeed um, tensions are high um, I would say that as the negotiations uh, continue and probably they will continue in the next one and a half or two hours and I don't I'm not very sure at this point whether we will get the announcement of the running mate for the deputy president today or that will happen tomorrow uh, because like I've, I've said it is an official deadlock uh, between uh, Rigadi Gashagwa and Kidure Kendiki but the negotiations are ongoing and the team is um, really adamant uh, that by the end of the night today uh, they must have a running with being declared uh, for the deputy president uh, but considering the fact that this announcement was supposed to be made in the morning then in mid afternoon and then in the evening um, you would say they have spent quite a substantial time and hours uh, discussing this conversation um, around the running mate. But also um, very interesting because in normal terms we would say um, they are burning the midnight oil. Clearly um, uh, it, this is not the midnight oil. Um, they have burned hours, day, time, the sun and now the midnight oil as they try to resolve this um, very big headache uh, for the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition uh, because the deadline is on Monday the 16th. Every coalition, every presidential candidate is supposed um, to present his running mate or submit his running mate uh, to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission that is the IABC. Monday is the deadline. The question is, um, obviously with the rumour that Azimio are going to unveil uh, they're running mid tomorrow. Is it possible then that Kenya Kwanzaa will unveil theirs before um, uh, tomorrow or what will happen in between? And that's a big question um, uh, that is ringing in the minds um, of many, whether Kenya Kwanzaa will be able um, uh, to declare their candidates um, by today. But let me also say, probably according to the sources, uh, that are inside um, the meeting that is ongoing. Um, indeed, there's been a back and forth um, between the two candidates because initially uh, there appeared to have been four candidates, Anwai Guru, Ndidi Nyoro of Kiharu, uh, Anwai Guru of course is the governor for Kirinyaga, then Rigadi Gashagwa of uh, Madeira, and then uh, Senator Kiduri Kindiki uh, of Tharakanidi. At some point in the evening, it has narrowed down to two candidates, that is Kiduri Kindiki and Rigadi Gashagwa. Negotiations still didn't yield anything so they had to be sent out, according to our sources, probably until to allow negotiations or intense negotiations um, by the other leaders from Kenya Kwanzaa. And then they would be called back and we can report they are back in this house, uh, but still a deadlock um, in terms of um, identification um, of a running mate. How will this pan out? Obviously, we will be able to know probably in the next two hours and whether the declaration will be made tonight or the declaration will happen um, tomorrow. But as it is, that's just it. And I think the big question, um, obviously, as I hand, hand it back to you, um, Kasavuli, is a question 
of what each one of them brings to the table. For Kidure Kendiki, obviously, having come from Mount Kenya East, the question obviously is the number of votes that Mount Kenya East um, can deliver towards Kenya Kwanzaa as compared to Rigari Gashagwa, who comes from Mount Kenya West, and the sizable number of votes that, uh, you know, are in Mount Kenya West. And therefore, there has to be a give and take uh, between both. But we understand um, none of them is sitting ground. It appears like a sibling rivalry, uh, but how it pans out, probably it's now calls for the wisdom of their leader, um, that is the Deputy President, to see how this impasse um, is resolved. But again, um, uh, just like I said in the beginning um, of this link, it is that officially this is a deadlock, uh, but we will be uh, clearly uh, following on the events here and probably um, cover the event live uh, once they're ready to unveil their running mates, if they do in the course of the night. But for now, back to you, Catherine Casavoli at Broadcasting House.